The state transition technique is concerned with systems that may exhibit a different response depending on current conditions or previous history or state. Such systems can be easily represented by what is called a state transition diagram. It allows the tester to view the software in terms of its states, transitions between states, the inputs of events that trigger state changes, and the actions which may result from those transitions. The system may behave differently to the same trigger or transition according to its current state. Again, let's look at an example of a state transition diagram to learn more about it. This diagram represents a marital status system. Take a look at it for a second to see if you can get the idea of such diagrams without me telling you anything. I think you can do it by yourself. Circles represent states and arrows represent transactions or events that would happen on a specific state which will cause this state to change. To read this diagram, start with the black circle in the diagram wherever it is. This is usually the start point of the diagram. A person starts by being a single person. Then he could only be married or stay in the single state forever. Well, I hope not. While in married state, only one of two things could happen. Move to the separated state or move to the widowed state. In the separated state, one of two things can happen. Move to divorced state or move to widowed state. While in widowed state or divorced state, you can remarry and hence move back to the married state. Note that not all events have an effect in all states. Where an event doesn't have an effect on a given state, it's usually omitted, but it can be shown as an hour starting from that state and returning to the same state to indicate that no transition takes place. This is sometimes known as a null transition or an invalid transition. In our example, you cannot get remarried while you are separated. Such relationship between the state and the transitions can be clear if we create what is known as a state table. A state table records all the possible events and all the possible states. For each combination of events and state, it shows the outcome in terms of the new state and any outputs that are generated. So for the sake of creating the transition table, let's give titles to the transitions in our example. A state table as shown in the screen shows the relationship between the states and inputs and can highlight possible transitions that are invalid. And in our case, those invalid transitions are null. Tests can be designed to cover a typical sequence of states to cover every state, or to execute every transition, or to exercise a specific sequence of transitions, or to test the invalid transitions. And this is where most of the questions in the exam are about. For example, how many test cases are needed to go through all the states? Well, look at the diagram for a moment. In our example, one test case could be enough. Single, married, widowed, married, separated, divorced. How many test cases are needed to go through all the transitions? In our example, again, one test case could be enough, but it's different than the first one. In this case, single, married, widowed, married, separated, divorced, married, separated, widowed. Which sequence of states are valid and which are not? In our example, if you are married, you cannot be single again. Single is not a valid state after being married. Well, you wish. Thank you.